Bonfire Burritos. If you're ever in Golden, Colorado, get yourself a Chupacabra 50-50. We're just going for our morning drive. Can't see nothing. It's all foggy. Yeah, not up here. Once we get down a little bit further, you can see. But you can actually see a little bit now. Anyway, see, having some breakfast. Gonna get the drywall mudding today, or sanding, and then mudding again. Second coat, I guess. All right. All right. This stuff was just delivered. The Mr. Cool 24K DIY heat pump air conditioner. So this should be great. Installing this is going to be uh, interesting. I do need to have somebody come out and do the, that is uh, 220 electric and that's what this needs. So uh, 220 volt. So that's already done. And then this is the oh, 230 volt. Yeah. Here we go. Awesome. All right, so doing some left hand recording so I can work with my right hand. So right now I'm taking a razor blade and I'm going around um, to every single seam that I've taped and I'm looking for little imperfections. Like right here we have, if it'll focus, you can see right here, the tape did not bond. So I'm just taking the razor blade and I'm cutting these pieces out I don't want a loose flap of tape, right? So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna cut all these out. And right there you can see it's still loose. So I gotta go back even further. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I get all of these things taken care of. And then we can go on to our second coat of mudding. Because this is just the first coat all this stuff will be covered up. There we go, we're bonded now. So that's all solid. We don't want any loose flappy stuff, basically. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna take a couple hours, listen to some music. You guys wanted to know what I'm listening to. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put together like a Spotify playlist um, for you guys. And it may or it probably won't be linked in this video, but um, I will actively work on getting that together so you guys can see what I'm listening to. It's mostly metal. If you don't like metal music, then don't even bother. But um, that's pretty much what I listen to. It's basically music that if you listen to it, you don't need coffee in the morning. But I still like my coffee. I'm just going to take my time here. I'm going to look at everything. I'm also going to clean out, you know, the crusties. Yeah, I'll go with a screwdriver and just clean this up. I know I shouldn't even have the outlets in there, but I'm I'm using them. So I have everything on. Um, I'm going to clean all that out. And yeah, I'm going to take a couple hours. There's a bad one right there. Look at that. So this will be fun for a little while. And then, uh, then we'll get to mixing our second coat of plus three. We're going to float out some of the bigger... Let me see. This one here turned out pretty good. There's some um, butt joints. There's, a, there's some bad stuff up in here. A lot of that up in here, I'm not really going to take so much time with because there's no way I'm going to get behind all this brackets and garage hardware. That is kind of going to be one more coat and then sand it as good as it'll get. And then I'll paint over it and we'll call it good. Um, but for like these corners here... I mean, up here, I could definitely get, you know, do the best I can. But be, I'm talking about behind this bar. There's actually a seam up there. It's hard to see. I'm going to do my best with it, but I'm not going to go crazy with that. But like right here, there's a spot that needs to be, you can see right where the razor blade is. It's a little bit high. I have to float that out with the thinner um, mud. And then there's a few other spots, especially up around these things. I'm gonna have to float some stuff out. And there's some butt joints around here somewhere. I think it's, I think this is actually a butt joint that has to be floated up probably that high. 
with the really thin mud. So I'll be working on that today. Good day today. We went for a drive this morning and got our bonfire burrito. Had a uh, good cup of coffee. I might have another cup of coffee. Why not? All right, let's get to work. Okay, I'm already well into the sanding process. I sanded the uh, all the walls um, completely with with that device, which was pretty actually pretty awesome. And now I'm going over all the small stuff, like you just saw, going around all the outlets, making sure they're all right, using the hand sand, the sanding block, just going around everything and knocking down any ridges or pits or whatever. I got to a spot up here and I'd just like to show you what it kind of looks like up close. So this is a big old gap, right? I filled it with that uh, spray foam and then I mudded right over top of it. And it's pretty darn level. Um, I'm working this way. So the next one is right here. You can see there's some divots and ridges and stuff. So it's really easy. It's really easy to take care of because I don't have to worry about from here up. I just have to worry about from here down because all this is gonna be covered up by uh, knotty pine. So just a couple seconds with the block and you can see it's already smoothing out pretty well. Another three seconds, it's pretty much gone. Uh, once I do that second coat, that'll be invisible. And there you go. Yep. All right, just another 30, 28 to go. All right, all my walls are nice and silky smooth. That's as good as they are gonna get before the next coat. So while I was up there sanding this stuff, I noticed something interesting that I need to address before I go any further. So um, as you can see, we have rafters here, okay? This end rafter, I actually installed these uh, I installed those so I have a place to nail my tongue and groove knotty pine ceiling to once I get to the edge, because that didn't exist before. Well, it did, but it was in behind this drywall, so I had to add an additional one to give it something to hold on to, right? So the problem is, I don't know if I can get it on camera. It's pretty obvious. I don't know how I didn't catch it. But this angle and this angle, if I put um, those boards up here, this side is going to end right here at, at the bottom. And this one here has got a good half inch, right? The problem is here. And I don't know how I missed it. Let's see if I could point this out. Right there, the space between the rafter and the bottom of the timber is about an inch, well, about an inch and a half. Over here, the space between the bottom of the rafter and the bottom of the timber, it's about a half inch. So that piece right there, that piece has to come out. So I'm gonna remove the insulation, just that piece there. I'm gonna pull this piece out and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit uh, straighter because I took my level here and there's a gap right here, which means that this is tilted down too far, just a little bit. So that one little mismeasurement requires ripping apart. Well, it's not gonna be that bad. All right, here's the piece that was up there and trying to remove it, I really had it up there very good. Um, so it, I had to rip it, kind of rip it apart to get it down. So I just, uh, Cut that down, just ripped it down to have a nice flat edge here so I can reuse this same board. Um, as you can see right there, all I really have to do is line it up the same as that one and that one. That way, that way when it goes, when the boards go straight across, it won't be like warped up or down. It'll go straight in. And then, of course, you got to replace all that, fix all that drywall, retape it. And then, uh, and then we are good to do our second coat. 
All right. Whoops. All right, that wasn't so bad. Um, remove the old piece. Or remove the piece, fixed it, put it back the right way. And I just filled it up with a whole bunch of expanding foam. And uh, basically once that's uh, cured, which will be tomorrow, then I just flush cut it. And then I'm gonna have to mud over top of it. So um, I think actually it's already like 6, 6 p.m. And uh, I think I'm gonna call it for today. I actually did quite a bit today. I did all the sanding, which is really, that's that's a, a big job in itself. And then I, you know, that was actually a quick job up there, but it needed to be done. Um, I guess I could do a couple small odd jobs before I call it like that stuff has to be cleaned up, that overspray from the insulation. Um, other than that, there's like a few things that I, as I walk by, I see it like this little lip right here. I can, I can, you know, think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go around the edges here. There's a lot of squeeze out caulking and stuff down here. I'll just clean that up, sweep up, and then uh, call it a night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do, and I'll see you tomorrow.